Yeah, right there for now. Hello and welcome to Citizen Pew. This is Citizen Pew Commentary and today we are going to be talking about the Chapa Arms 1911-22. This one right here. And as you saw in the footage beforehand, I've been enjoying shooting it. It's, uh, it's a great little piece and I've been looking for a 22 version of a 1911 for some time. And uh, before we get into this though, let me thank all of my subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, so let's talk about this. There are a, a number of manufacturers out there making 22 uh, versions of 1911s, and uh, I've been wanting one for a while. And this one just happened to show up at a gun store. I gave it a feel, um, checked out the action. I said, I like it. And the price was right kind of where I was looking at spending. I've seen some of these a lot more expensive. And uh, I said, I'll give it a shot. And I've never owned a Chop of Firearms uh, product before and so I was also excited to kind of learn a little bit about the company and uh, how good their products are and I'll say uh, I'm I'm pretty impressed so far before we uh, Get into some more footage and some other things. Let's go ahead and check out what they say about their product on their website Buy them. We're gonna go to my website of course And I'm gonna go over to the links tab and I'm gonna go down here to chop of firearms click on that it'll take us to the Chapa Firearm website. We're gonna to go to handguns, we're gonna to go to pistol, we're gonna to go to 1911 22s. And as you can see here, they have a number of different models. Let's see what they have to say. The 1911 is one of America's favorite pistols. The Chapa Firearms 1911 22, the classic design, can come with all of the features, comfort, and appeal, but chambered in an easy shooting, inexpensive 22 long rifle. These handguns are the same size and have the same controls as a genuine 1911. This makes the Chapa 1911-22 perfect for serious practicing, target shooting, or plinking. The 1911-22 is available in standard, compact, custom, or two-tone configurations. Each 1911-22 comes with two 10-round magazines. There you go. Uh, now, the particular model I, I have is this tan model. So let's click on it and go through their specifications. They got their little blurb there again. But uh, here we go, uh, type of gun, it's a pistol, caliber 22 long rifle, action, semi-auto, barrel length is 5 inches, capacity is 10, feed in is magazine, grips is a Hogue, rubber grips, front sight is fixed, rear sight standard, safety uh, is manual, weight 2.1 pounds, length 8.5 inches or 216 millimeters, uh, material is alloy, finish, tan, painted frame and slide all right there it is if you don't didn't see a clear picture in the shooting of it uh while i was at the range or with me holding it up so yeah let's get back to bam me all right so let me go over a few things here that i've noticed uh it like the modern 1911s it does not have the backstrap safety so excuse me, when the trigger is cocked, you don't have to pull it all the way back to uncock it. And in fact, if you do, you won't be able to. Basically, you just hold the trigger, uh, I'm sorry, hold the hammer, pull the trigger, and it will let you unseat it and put it back into a safer state. Um, it does have a mag lock feature. When the mags are in, it will lock back after the last round has fired. Uh, there's a couple other features here I wanted to talk about. It does have a safety right here where you get a little key. You can turn it uh, when the two red dots are aligned. It is uh, in fire mode. If you turn it and, and they're not aligned, then it'll be in a safe mode. And you'll have to put the key on there to work it again. It also has a um, normal kind of 1911 safety right there that you can put up and if it's down, just like a normal 1911, you can cock it and the safety goes up and you can keep it in safe with the hammer back. Uh, it breaks down 
a little differently than a, a, a traditional 1911. Uh, you still have the same kind of thing in the front. You have to push this in, turn this uh, piece here around the barrel, rotate it, and, and pull it out. And it's a lot longer than a 1911. Um, it takes a little bit to you know figure out where the sweet spot is to pull it out. And uh, now that I've cleaned it a couple times, I put a little bit of grease on the on the knuckle parts. Uh, it really helps it in the takedown. Um, other than that, the the um, slide release right here doesn't really interlock into anything inside the gun. It just is to hold the slide back. It does. There's no hole or anything on the barrel or anything like that that it has to pop into. No, it just holds holds the slide back. Uh, I do like the grip, the whole grip they put on it. Uh, it works great for me. I like it. Um, I might actually get one of these for one of my 1911s. So <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I will say after firing it, the rear sight uh, did get loose a little bit. I had to tighten it down, but that was about it. Um, you know what? I got a few other things I wanted to talk about regarding this size of this and uh, how they say it is is the same basically size and everything of a 1911. But before I do that, let me go ahead and show you some more footage of me at the range. Alright, I'm going to go as fast as I can and see how many times I can hit it. I hit it a few times. Fine little guy. All right, give you a little bit more footage. Uh, you know, it, like I said, it's a little plink. It's a fun little plinker. If you're if you're in, if you're looking for a 22 plinking uh, pistol, this thing is awesome. Uh, I really enjoy shooting it. I really do. Now, if you're looking for something to um, keep yourself familiar with your 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 1911, because maybe it's your carry firearm and all that, uh, I will say weight wise, it's close to the same. But when you have a 22 mag with 10 rounds, um, it, it isn't quite the same offset but uh i mean other than that the size and shape and all that and weight is pretty close uh and it does fit in holsters that are for 1911 so this is for my 1911 holster and there you go mm, yeah a little more wobblier than mine i don't know if that's just um the hand the 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 trigger piece isn't quite the same or not but here's my leather holster there you go fits in my leather holster too just like my 1911 does and fits in there nice and snug so there is that now while i was at the range i did have a couple issues with this um i had uh let's see here i had one round misfire which i'm going to blame that one on the ammunition it, you know it, it struck it didn't fire um i pulled it out and then put it back in later and it the second strike it fired so i wasn't too worried about that i did have uh the second mag i think we had a misfeed but um you know we, we took care of that and then honestly I've, I've put now probably about 300 rounds through it i haven't had another misfeed issue yet so i don't know if that was just it breaking in or what but uh let's see here there was 
well, there was one more issue. We had a failure to eject properly. And basically the the casing, I don't know, when it came out and ejected, it somehow got bounced back in there and it was just all loose. And then the slide tried to come forward and it kind of stuck about right there. And I looked down and sure enough, the casing was in there all sideways. And so I pulled it out and kept on going. So that, that's really all the issues I've had with it. Um, but man, I tell you what, it'll cycle the, it'll cycle some, some rounds pretty quick. And uh, as you saw in the videos. So, I, you know, I, I don't have any other 1911-22 models to compare it to, honestly. I've, I've fired a few off. Uh, when when these when these kind of when the 1911 22s first came out, a couple people I knew had one, but that was years ago. They were neat, but they were having all kinds of issues with them, and so that, that was one of the reasons why I was a little leery um, on which one I picked up. But like I said, this one here, um, it was in my price range. And let me go back to the website and show you that. I, I don't think I addressed the MSRP. So the uh, MSRP here is 317. And that's pretty much what I had to pay for it. Um, you know, that price point isn't going to give the gun uh, the gun stores a lot of leeway. You might be able to get one on sale if they're selling them at a big box store, um, a little under two hundred dollars. But two seventeen tax and uh, and background check, I was out the door uh, just under three hundred fifty bucks. So uh, for a little plinking twenty two, uh, especially one that's modeled after nineteen eleven. Ah, I don't think that's a bad deal at all. And th this is going to be one of my fun little, you know, take to the range. I do all the stuff I want to do. Train with my my, my 9 millimeter. Maybe, you know, um, do some training with my ARs or something like that. And then go over and just fire off a bunch of 22 rounds. So I, I really like it. I really like it. I can't, I mean, like I said, I think the, the ammo issues I had was just it wearing in. I didn't have a lot out of 300 rounds. Like I said, one, one uh, failed eject. And um, one fail to load. Uh, another than that, a failed round. But that, like I said, I'm gonna put that on the ammunition manufacturer. So, and um, but I tell you what, I shot uh, some CCI. That was the first thing I shot through. 100 rounds of CCI. They went through great. Um, but the failure to feed was through the CCI. But like I said, I, that wasn't ammo really. That was probably just you know it didn't hit the ramp or something like that, or or maybe the magazine was was breaking in. But it happened pretty early in it, and then like the rest, the, the majority of the rounds went through no problem. Um, the one that, that the where the shell failed to, to, to eject, that was uh, arm score. That was this guy right here. I had a little box of arm score with me, and I said, you know what, let's, let's throw that through there too. And I uh, threw that through there, and that was the one where the uh, casing kind of bounced back in and landed weird. But uh, I also shot some, uh, what was it? I think it was Aguila. I shot some, like a 50 count box of Aguila through it too. And then some more CCI. So I, I've shot quite a bit through it. Uh, it, it. It really does like the CCI though. Um, and the arm score did pretty well too. So I'm not going to complain about it. But uh, I tell you what, that's really all I have for you on it. Uh, yeah, to me, it's a great buy. If you're looking for a little plinker, something that has a little bit maybe, uh, you know, uh, uh, similarities between other firearms that you may have. I really like it. And like I said, you can use this with, if you have a 1911, you can use your 1911 uh, holsters uh, to carry it around and, and all that while you're at the range. So I don't know. I really like it. I, I can't really say a lot of, uh, a lot of bad stuff about it. Um, yeah. So let me know your thoughts. If you have a chopper firearms, 1911-22, let me know if you like it. Let me know if you've had issues with it. I'd be really interested to know. And if you have another brand of 1911 that's chambered in 22, uh, I'd, I'd be interested to know what it is because uh, as I get out to the range with this more often, uh, I want to see what else is out there and, and maybe maybe uh, you know go out there with somebody who has one and, and then recompare. So all right, that's really all I have for you. Thank you for watching the video. Like I said, give it a thumbs up if you like the content. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And y'all have a good day.